thing I wanted to say is thank you all that you're coming for coming here tonight to see the first art show of Gordon Raphael. Thank you. <laughs> As you already saw, we are presenting some uh, paintings and drawings, photo and video. And um, I selected out the paintings and Gordon himself selected out the photos and he selected out the videos and the most of them are also edited by himself. And um, Graham help. All right, who's Graham? Ah, hello Graham. Sorry, I never saw you before. Um, the important thing about that is that you wanted to do. I let Gordon select out all the photos because I didn't want to interfere in this process because we didn't want to show um, this kind of already known things about Gordon from the media, like that he's the producer of the strokes and stuff like that. I wanted to present the kind of Gordon Raphael that, is, that you can, really can see a kind of his life, so we can either look at the works as an example for the changements in the music world from the 80s until today, I would say, or you can uh, look at them to see the life of Gordon Raphael as a person beyond music. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so Gordon, well I think that Gordon's art is very, um, uh, how I imagine the inside of his brain might be, you know. I quite like, I quite like his art because it, it sort of makes me, it, it definitely gives you an insight into, into uh, the way his mind might work, or has worked over the years. Um, he's quite a psychedelic person and, and the, the art is, is equally psychedelic, so. And I, it, it looks natural. It doesn't look fake. It just—it looks like he gen genuinely was just sort of, sort of transporting from stuff from his brain into onto paper. So. Oh. Yeah. 
So, hi, um, Gordon's art is, when I looked at it, what I thought immediately was, what's going on in Gordon's head? Because it is, uh, it, it is strange, but it's, it's very colorful, it's wonderful as well. It reminds me a little bit of um, Yellow Submarine or something, but a bit more weird again. Um, and his music is it's great, there's a lot of energy, he's a good performer, and it feels a little bit like he's trapped in the 70s or something. <laughs> And he's bringing, bringing the 70s here uh, with his kind of rock music and his big guitar solos. Um, and when everyone was joining in and clapping, it really felt like a nice, a nice happening. And I really enjoyed it. Thank <laughs> you.